Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. Since we have started our online classes in this one year span of time, we have trained several thousands of students preparing for various competitive exams. If you want to meet our expert faculty team, you can meet our expert faculty team and we are going to come across with best and unique content which will help you to crack your examinations in a smart way. We are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail and we are going to come across with best and smart approaches which will help you to crack your examinations in very short span of time. Our expert faculty team is going to teach you each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you want, you can join our free foundation batch. This free foundation batch, you need not pay any money for this. And in this free foundation batch, you can meet our expert faculty team who are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you have any doubts, you can contact us through these numbers. And we welcome you to be part of Channel Logics. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Channel Logics. Today, in our session, we will be discussing September 19th current affairs and as well as whatever the topics we have discussed in our previous class. Is it clear? So, based on that, practice questions will be done first. Next, we will move to descriptive session. So, in this practice question, third week analysis is going on. So, try to mention the answers in comment section. So, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, your names will be announced. So, perfectly from starting of our third week, okay, so till the end of our third week of September. So, try to mention your answers and as well as if anybody's like answers were at least one or two will be incorrect, right? So, just we are considering and we are giving the top comments as whose answers, all answers will be comment on all the days in that third week and as well as you have to focus on in time, is it clear? Next and you have to focus like at least the whole week whoever like considering and who are mentioning answers for whole week without missing any day. So that is the concept of analyzing your answers and mentioning the names of in a top comment section. Is it clear? And as well as if you want to download the PDFs of current office, so you can download it through telegram channel, you can join our telegram channel and as well as link is provided in a description. Is it clear? And as well as along with this, if you want to watch Telugu current affairs regarding this, so you can go through Chandan Logic's Telugu channel. And in that, like our daily basis of our English language, is it clear? So in the same way, we are uploading Telugu current affairs. So first, we will start our session with practice questions. So let us look into the first question regarding the Surya Kiran 15 is a joint military training exercise that is of Indian Army with which country so as we have discussed while we are dealing with some like military exercises or some naval exercises first you have to focus what are the two countries participating in that is it a bilateral exercise or else like multilateral exercise or else trilateral exercise so first if you have to focus on this word then next you have to focus on what what are that two countries or what are that multiple countries or three countries that is the main objective is it clear and name of that exercise then what is the objective to do that exercise so here Surya Kiran military training exercise this is mainly the objective is that to strengthen the bond between these two countries and as well as in these like training exercise they are going to discuss on various topics is it clear so that like areas and discussions will be going on certain for example if you say counter terrorism operations and what are the advanced technology in that military is it clear and defense sector so these are some specific areas they are going to do in this military training exercise so here along with india what is the other country it is going to take part in this exercise then if we move to options sri lanka nepal maldives or bangladesh next who is the author of the book translating myself and others so as i have said you while we are discussing about books and authors so you have to concentrate on what uh, title of the book next comes to author then comes to what what will be the descriptive okay that means what they have described in that book so now translating myself and others who is the author for this book that means just now we have discussed about title then if we move to options regarding author 
अरुंधति राय सुधा मूर्ति अनिता देसाई चेतन भगत और झुम्पा लहरी सो हियर आई एल गिव यू वन क्लू इज इ क्लियर दैट द ऑथर हु विल बी देर दैट पर्सन इज अमेरिकन ऑथर एंड वेल नोन फॉर शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड एज वेल एज नॉवेल्स एंड बुक So at least with this clue, try to mention the exact answer in comment section. Next, if we move regarding important concepts. So here, important days while we are discussing. So here, the perspective areas you have to concentrate is regarding. You have to focus on what are the areas: date, theme, objective, and the next comes to started year. And also, if there is like any numerical areas, that means some additions. Okay. So that even that concepts also try to cover. But in worst cases, like additions or some regarding important days, majorly these only four areas they raise the question. But in certain cases, like ten percent chances is there. Sometimes if the paper is difficult, so that maybe there are chances to raise the question regarding addition also. Now, what is the theme of International Coastal Cleanup Day of 2021? Mainly, this is like Coastal Cleanup Day is for what? For cleaning the oceans, right? So that is the main concept and object to celebrate this day. Then, moving to the theme of 2021 regarding International Coastal Cleanup Day of 2021 is Marine Animal, the Pelican, keep trash in the bin, not in the ocean, achieving a trash-free coastline, or time for the nature. and as well as here oceans coastline and coastal areas and as well as beaches so to keep this environment friendly so majorly to get bring the awareness among the public so this day will be celebrated next it is regarding nsic right so as we have discussed about nsic so recently this is regarding the appointments so while we are discussing appointments what are the areas you have to concentrate who is like recently the person has appointed and else for which organization or an institute or else company is it clear these are the main areas and if there is some any background of that person who has like recently appointed so about that person a little bit you have to know and as well as static part regarding the organization these are the major areas you have to concentrate while we are discussing about appointments then if we move to the options recently who has appointed as a chairman and managing director of national small industries corporation limited so shikhar singh prakar kumar suresh jindal alkhanange arora or vinod varma next india's 61st software technology park center opened in you can see the places manipur sikkim meghalaya tripura or nagaland As I have said you that I'll give you here clue. Whatever the place they have now just were in options. So here for India, this is sixty first software technology park center. But for that state or else union territory or else certain place, if you see, so that is a first technology park center. Is it clear? So as I have said you that sixty first is for India and first is for certain state or union territory or place. Is it clear? Next. if we move to the objective for what for like set up in this software technology park center stpc so the main objective is that here they will be giving training and they are developing the skills among the youth and also let them know like about the job opportunities that means employment opportunities in that state is it clear next regarding important days just now we have discussed regarding international coastal cleanup day about the theme then moving to the second one it is regarding important days is equal pay day that is observed annually on which day so that means date so whenever you are seeing the questions are revolving around only these four areas if you concentrate right 18 september 11 september 15 september or 13th september next if we move to government schemes so the topic will be covering under so with this we have done our practice session right now we'll move descriptive session in that descriptive session first we'll be covering the topics under government schemes so the first one is about ek pahal campaign so recently which was launched by justice delivery at doorstep so you can see here major portfolio is taking part is ministry of law and justice what is the ministry ministry of law and justice so recently it has launched a campaign called ek pahal so this is like you can see for justice at delivery at delivery at the doorstep on september 17th of 2021 actually this campaign was launched in a bid to encourage so what is the object to launch this campaign means to encourage mass registration under the 
tele law so what are the significance of tele law if you see actually the significance of tele law is that majorly according to a preamble of a indian constitution if you see so there will be a bit right so that bit you if you focus regarding this justice so according to this tele law the significance is about that the whatever like you can see beneficiaries right that means the sections regarding poor and weaker sections so for them there is the free of justice is it clear and also equitable justice they should get availability that is the main concept of this significance of tele law so under this tele law only recently this ek pahal campaign has done then the campaign was launched by department of justice and nalsa actually what is the main like you can see about nalsa if you see this is national legal services authority what is the meaning of nalsa national legal services authority so this national legal service authority just now we have discussed that about the constitution right so that is all the weaker and poor sections should get the free justice and as well as that means access to provide free justice and as well as equitable justice that is the main objective next this campaign seeks to actualize the aspiration of access to justice for citizens in india i have is it clear so you have to focus your aspiration of access to justice for the citizens who are in present in india so this is by the ministry of law and justice this is the main objective you have to focus so the campaign name is what that is ek pahal campaign next deadline for pan aadhar linkage extended till march 2022 so as we have discussed that in our previous class also like in the month of june also we have discussed and july like that so it is going on like extending only majorly what is the objective that means what is the reason to extend this date so why government is extending so maybe you are having these many doubts right so first if you see regarding pan and aadhar actually what is meant by pan first so pan number is nothing but permanent account number so this is of 10 characters which is alpha numeric so how many characters pan, pan is of 10 characters so that is of 10 alpha numeric characters then this will be given and, and by the department of income tax so for the person who can apply it so even it is in a pdf format also wh whoever can get so they want to get through the like e, e, e platforms right that means pdf format then that is of 10 days then moving to the aadhar so aadhar is like under the this has bought up under the parent organization agency if you see that agency deals with what is the agency u i d a i unique identification authority of india has bought up this aadhar and if you see this was bought up in the year 2009 right so and aadhar is you can have to focus here this is a 12 digit unique identity number is it clear so this is and you can see aadhar is a world largest biometric system is it clear so that is about aadhar and pan just we have discussed so pan is of 10 alpha numeric characters and here you have to focus aadhar is unique 10 digit clear right next now to the linkage of this pan and aadhar so we have discussed in our previous that means in the months of june also if you are aware of current our current affairs if you are following regularly you may have in the notes right so you can deal with it that is extended till march 2022 actually the earlier deadline was till september 30 that's what i'm saying no in the month of august july every day like it is going to extend only so actual date is like deadline is till september 30 but now they have again extended to march of 2020 next year is it clear next central government of india that is in continuation of its commitment to address about the hardship that means what is the reason just now we have said no what will be the reason to extend this date means now you can see here which was faced by various stakeholders an account of covid-19 pandemic and also has in consideration of representations which were received from the various stakeholders they have decided to extend the timeline okay for linking this pan and aadhar that is under the income tax act of 1961 that is cbdt so try to mention the full form of cbdt right why because this will be related for income tax 
So income tax comes under the direct tax, right? So as we have discussed in our classes about taxes also various times, if you have a notes, once you go through it, then try to mention the full form of CBDT. Is it clear? So according to CBDT, now they have said that and given an announcement about the deadline for linking PAN and other till March 2022. And if any of you were like uh, not till now you have not done this work, so at least now at least you can focus it on this. So try to link your PAN and other and also the date has extended till March 2022, you are informed to your family and friends. This is like important current affair we can see. And next, moving to the part, my government India la launches planetarium innovation challenge. What is it? Planetarium innovation challenge. Actually, if you see the main objective, why they have launched this planetarium innovation challenge? That was under the my government platform actually my government platform was created and established in the year 2014 then what is the objective this my government is providing a platform for all the citizens to participate in nations development is it clear that is the main objective to launch this my government platform in the year 2014 now my government has launched this challenge called planetarium innovation challenge so the main objective now we will see actually why they have launched this. So this is mainly for Indian startups and tech entrepreneurs and as well as this planetarium challenge was launched with the aim. So here you can see perfect objective to bring together the ideas and the tech firms, startups that are based out of India with the potential to build indigenous planetarium system software even in the remote areas, in the rural and urban areas. That is the main concept. And also this planetarium innovation challenge will be there, right? So here this will be like conducted. So this will be conducted every year and that too they will be focusing on like they'll give five winners. Is it clear? So here you can see top three winners will be there, right? So the first, second and third. So even cash prize will be given to them in this, in who were participating in this innov planetarium innovation challenge. That means the startups or entrepreneurs you can see, right? Tech firms also. So the cash prize will be 5 lakh for the first prize winner, 3 lakh for second prize winner and the 2 lakhs for third prize winner. So this is the cash amount like the prize they are going to win through this challenge. So this planetarium innovation challenge was bought up by with by the my government platform. Is it clear? And this system software must be built by using the latest technology. What are the technologies involved if you see? Augmented reality, virtual real reality and as well as merged reality. So if there is a time permits, once you go through these technologies, is it clear? That means some maybe there is a chance to help for you. Sometimes they will may, maybe regarding science and technology, if there is a question regarding these technologies, just you have to have an idea, right? So that's why I'm saying you to once revise after the class about these areas. Is it clear? And here you have to focus about the static part, my government objective and it was established in the year 2014. Then moving to the planetarium innovation challenge. Next if we move to important days. International Red Panda Day 2021. Actually if you see this International Red Panda Day will be celebrated every year on which date. Okay, So you have to focus that it is on third Saturday of September every year. What is that? Third Saturday of September every year. Then what comes to the objective? Why they will celebrate this Red Panda Day? You can see the image of Red Panda also here. So that you can remember easily, right? Then objective is to rise public about the awareness and support the Red Panda conservation and issues. Is it clear? So regarding this conservation issues, the, for, to create awareness among the people, this day will be celebrated. That means objective we have done. Next, if we move actually in 2021, this like Red Panda Day will be the rights. International Red Panda Day is being observed on 18th September of 2021. That means as we have discussed the same type of question in our previous classes also, right? So every year if they ask you the question, so read the question once or twice or thrice if it is needed. So whether they are asking every year or in certain specific year they are mentioning. Is it clear? So if they are mentioned in 2021, International Red Panda Day was fallen on, what is that? On 18th September. But every year this, will, this day will be celebrated on 3rd Saturday of September. Is it clear? So first this day was launched by in the year 2010. Okay, that means 
started year to celebrate is it clear so these are the major areas next coming to about these red pandas now we'll see so before seeing that you have to focus this is celebrated first on 18 september 2010 but every year they will be celebrated on third saturday of september focus on this part and also in started year 18th september and also in 2021 also it falls on 18th september just to relate it if there is necessary you can remember it easily that means started year also the same date 18th september but every year suppose if you take example 2020 or 2022 you should not fix that it is of 18th september you have to fix in your mind every year it's celebrated on third third saturday of september if third saturday falls on some 20th september of next year then Here you can see 2022 red panda day is celebrated on 20th September next year. Like that there will be a question. So focus on the part whether they are mentioning any specific year or else they are like mentioning like overall like globally or every year when they will be celebrating. So these are the major areas and you have to focus that is and don't be confused because there is a chance to raise a question regarding this. Next if we move about a uh, some descriptive part regarding this red pandas. So there are like two distinct species of red pandas in which are commonly known as Himalayan red panda and as well as Alerus falgenstein okay commonly known as Chinese red panda then these are like mostly found in eastern Himalayan region that is and southwestern china that means there is sometimes to raise the question regarding some static part or else you can see some related matter about the red panda that means where they will be more available right so and how many distinct types were like re recently conserved and what are the conservation issues so while we are discussing and little bit you have to know if you want to know more just if you want to prepare like for exam point of view exactly so that just you have to focus day theme objective and from which year they have started to celebrate this day these are the perspective areas you have to concentrate next if we move to awards at short price that is recently has awarded for you can see two indian projects of this price okay so what are the two indian projects if you see the first one is about solar powered ironing cart project and the second project is about agriculture waste recycling concept so first if you see first project was developed by a 14 year school girl of tamil nadu and the second one was developed by an entrepreneur from delhi and here first before knowing to know about the project you have to know about the price call at short price so at short price was started to give from the year of 2020 so what is the main objective means this price will be conferred from 2021 to 2030 so that there will be like 15 finalists have been selected out from hundreds of categories and also hundreds of nominations across the world for the environmental prize so this earth shot is the environmental prize even there will be like five categories okay so from that five categories they will be selecting so now recently two indian projects also selected for this earth shot prize so this has started to give from the year 2020 then if you focus like what is the category comes under these two indian projects so these two indian projects will be come under the category called clean our air category what is the category clean our air category so here these are the two indian projects selected under the category so as i said you five categories in that among the among five one is clean our air category is it clear next here they will be selecting the five winners each year how many winners five winners top like five, 15 finalists they will be done out of that no, hundreds of nominations but winners like every year five winners they will be announcing and these winners selected for their solutions that means how they will be choosing this is like environmental award right so they will be choosing whoever contribution is regarding environment sector then those persons and those projects will be selected for this at the short price then with this we have done our static part regarding at short price right then we will move to the concept that what are these two projects to get this environment prize so first one is solar powered ironing cart project actually now this is an alternative for charcoal ironing cart what is that charcoal so it is replacing this charcoal then that is using by solar powered ironing cart which will be using and like ironing millions of clothes around the world then you can see here second project is regarding agriculture waste recycling concept so this agriculture waste is nothing but whatever the crop residues will be there so here this project whatever they have developed so this is going to convert the crop residue into selling bio products what is that 
about the sellable or else you can say selling bio products that means even from the waste also okay even from cross residue also they'll be using and they'll be making this bio products and which will be like selling is it clear they'll be a part of this sellable bio products so that is the second concept so these are the two projects you have to deal with next if we move to international current affairs so that is about hungary statue of you can see recently hungary has developed that statue of bitcoin founder satoshi nakamoto unveiled is it clear so in our previous classes also we are discussing about bitcoin this is a cryptocurrency right so here cryptocurrency we are saying and digital currency as we have known that the imposing bronze statue was unveiled in hungary's capital of budapest and this is the first such stat statue across the world then why they have like unveiled this statue if you see to pay the homage for the creator of this bitcoin is it clear so as we know that till now there is no clarity about the person who have invented and created this bitcoin you can see that nakamoto right so nakamoto is a sudani and which can be referred to be a person or else group of people we have not known so they are of unknown gender age or nationality who have discovered it, we don't know but they have like mentioned the name as a nakamoto right so this sudani you can see then if we see about like recently the hungary capital has been unveiled this statue and this statue is mainly for what to pay the homage for the bitcoin digital currency then this is like in, constructed in a business park near the danube river and you can see this whatever the statue will be there right so they are describing about the statue if you see the bird sits at top of stone plinth and this is also engraved with the name of what is the name of bitcoin creator so as we have discussed actually bitcoin was came into the picture in the year of 2008 right so here mining also will be done for creating this bitcoins right so this is like even used in and recently many countries also like making it as a national currency recently in our classes also we have discussed that certain countries have made as a bitcoin as a national currency even like whatever they want to buy or sell so they can use this digital currency called bitcoin then you can see this is the name of satoshi nakamoto what is the name satoshi nakamoto then this is a pseudonym and this is a mysterious development of bitcoin and whose true identification is still unknown that's what i'm saying identification is still unknown whether a group of people or else a person who has invited invented it but only the part we have known that the with the name is satoshi nakamoto then actually now in hungary the current affair is about what statue of bitcoin founder has recently unveiled but what are the features of this statue whether they have like identified any face or not no if you see this is a featureless face of the bust and is wrapped in a bronze hoodie then which is comprising the bitcoin logo so here you can see bitcoin logo so like this only for that statue they have designed and as well as this will be have polished heavily that means this is like mirror type that means if the persons who are visiting that statue you know we can see our face in that so like that they have polished it okay that is the main concept and that is a feature of this statue which was unveiled in hungary is it clear and little bit we have already discussed in our previous classes also about the what we can say bitcoin concept right so if you are having a you notes know, once you go through the static part also along with this topic so with this we have came to end of our session now we have to conclude our class and as well as in our today's concept try to focus on these areas okay once you revise it why because like again if tomorrow will be rising practice questions right so at that time you should not be blank and try to focus on all the static part even to easy clear parallelly even i'm covering major in our concepts so if it is like not covered also once you go to the static part if is necessary so maximum number of topics will be covering in class itself if there any missing topics try to mention in comment section if you want to get to know any static gk regarding certain topic okay mention the topic name then you like say that we want like static gk is it clear so thank you everyone we will meet you in the next class until that stay tuned and don't forget to stay safe and stay home